The Republicans apparently have a strategy that uh, when you're doing an interview, jump in there and immediately blame the press. Okay, so uh, the press, who they think has been unkind to them because they've actually done a rare job of pointing out what the facts are. The Republicans said that they want to relitigate uh, the Affordable Care Act and they're going to shut down the whole government because of it. Those are the facts. It's they're super obvious. And uh, because the corporate establishment actually agrees with Democrats in this case and agrees with the progressive position, the media has gotten the green light to say what the facts actually are. So they say it. And now the Republicans are livid. They're like, wait a minute, no matter what it is, you're supposed to call it 50-50, right? You're not doing it here. So what are we going to do? We're going to blame you instead. So first, uh, let's go to an interview that Ashley Banfield had with a couple of Republican congressmen and see how that turns out. You both want your way, and neither one of you seems to want to blink in this ridiculous staring contest where we're the ones who need the visines. Why connect the funding of the government, the entire U.S. economy? Why bring it to this brink? Why not do it at all the other times all of the other hundred plus Congresses have been able to fund the government? Well, have you addressed that to the Senate? I mean, we've already offered a compromise. You're acting, you're telling your listeners that we Republicans are holding this up and the government's going to shut down. We have actually reached out to the Democrats with a compromise position. Congressman, that's not fair. Don't it. you dare put we this back on, on me. You on. know you full well, no, no, oh, you know full well you attached Obamacare and defunding it. Am I a guest on this new show? Yes, am I, a guest on the new show? Am I here to up. listen to the tirade? You cannot make something Am I a guest on your new show? Are you here to give us a tirade? Let you can't make up sentence. facts, sir. Let me finish you pass a bill back to the Let Senate saying defund Obamacare. Excuse me, do your listeners understand this is the same thing we're putting up with, with the Senate? We offer a compromise. They won't even talk to us about it. You won't even talk to us about it. Whose bidding are you doing? We have offered the compromise. We don't like Obamacare. They like it. We have, written, we have reached out halfway to them. So, and you're blaming us? For the so if you the want government? to know if you want to know who's bidding I'm doing check my Twitter account after this interview where I invited two Republicans on and not a Democrat. So let's yeah, just clear the air speak. right there. You are cutting so, me off. How dare you? Don't you know you're supposed to call everything even and say yes sir the honorable gentleman from California is just so right uh, about his talking points. Ashley Banfield once again uh, not doing what uh, mainstream journalists are supposed to do. Here I, like I said they have the green light. But look listen uh, to what Rohrbacher says there. Look, we don't want Obamacare and he wants Obamacare. Why don't we just split the difference? That's cuz we already voted on it years ago. And the Supreme Court already said it's constitutional. You've already tried to defund it over 40 times. How many times do we have to go over this? Well, I don't know. I don't care. Why don't you just give me half of what I want? Oh, they won't negotiate. <laughs> and then the minute she challenges that it absurd proposition, oh, yeah, whose bidding are you doing? Liberal media. Because <laughs> that riles up the troops. They love it. Yeah, liberal media. Yeah. I love when they call the corporate media liberal media. It's hilarious. So now we go to Ryan Priebus, who's the head of the RNC. He's going to go on with Thomas Roberts at MSNBC. See if you could uh, find out uh, if they have a similar strategy here in a totally different interview. Why do we need to <laughs> attach the solutions or changes that go along with a law that has been by uh, the, the Supreme Court? by a mandate from the people re-electing the president in both houses of Congress, why should that be attached to shutting down the government? And as the president is saying, basically writing a ransom note uh, and asking for some type of goodie bag in response to Congress doing its job to govern. Well, those are some pretty good talking points. Let me let me just rewind. They're not talking points. Um, that's the, just the House, that's directly well, from well, what the president sounds, just gave well, I, a speech on. It sounds like on. I'm debating. It sounds like I'm debating the chairman of the DNC here, Thomas. Okay, that's fine. I'm happy to debate you. He just asked you a simple question. Oh yeah, talking points. Yeah, right. Well, what am I in the middle of a debate? No, it was just a question, and he immediately pounces because it's a strategy the Republicans have. Blame the media. It's the liberal media. That's why you're getting this twisted view blaming us. When of course it's not our fault. Just the whole world is set against us. <laughs> it's a Republican strategy. Don't buy it for a second. It's total crap.